Welcome. So we're going to answer this question here. It says the graphs of y is equal to mx plus c and y is equal to ax squared will have no points of intersection for all values of m, c, and a such that which are the following here. Okay, so we're talking about points of intersection. So that means we're going to set both of these equal to each other. mx plus c is equal to ax squared. Now the fact that we have no points of intersection means that the discriminant is going to be less than zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this and then say, all right, if my discriminant is less than zero, so my discriminant is less than zero, that means b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. Now we have to figure out what a, b, and c are. That one, that one, and that one. That's going to be my a value, my b value, and my c value. So that means I'm going to get, uh, now my b value is negative m, so negative m squared minus 4a negative c is less than 0. This is going to become positive m squared plus 4ac is less than 0. If we look through our options here, you can see that every one of them has what c is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for c. So let's come here. Uh, I'm going to go 4ac is less than negative m squared. And then I'm going to go c is less than negative m squared over 4a. And then we're going to see if this is an option that is given to us. And as you can see, it isn't. Uh, we have c is greater than, greater than, this value here, but we've got less than. So then the question is, well, how could we make it greater than, and how does the a value really relate to it? And this is where I'm going to write it down. I'm going to say, based on the options given, whoop, options given, we want to flip the inequality. And this has something to do with the a value. So let me ask you something. Let's come back to this line here for a second, this line of working. If you look at this a value here, if this a value was less than zero, i.e. negative, when I divide across the inequality, would you agree with me that it would flip the sign? So therefore, A would have to be less than zero in order for this to be a true statement. And that's what it is. Therefore, A has to be less than zero because if it was zero, then it's negative. And when you go across, it flips it around. Um, a tricky question, this one. This is a, this is a year 12 question. Uh, I th when did it appear? Let me just quickly look for a second. It appeared in the 20, 2015 exam. It's question 21, so towards the end of the paper. So definitely one of the, the trickier questions. And uh, the answer to it is D. So when A is less than zero, C is that. So this is a year 12 question. And it's towards the end of the year 12 paper. It's question 21. Uh, so it's one of those final multiple choice questions, which tend to be tricky. But it's good that you're starting to get exposed to these questions in preparation for next year. Okay, hopefully you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.